Hi everyone, Alex Roy here, your trusted realtor in Portland, coming to you with another weekly walkthrough, this time a very special series where I'm taking a look at several new construction in North Portland. This first one is at 9020 North Oswego, right near, well, a little bit north, northwest of the St. John Bridge. And I'm very excited to show it to you because this beauty is under $500,000. Let's not waste any time. Let's get on in there and take a look. So first thing to show that I really like about this place is the siding. It's the fiber cement. It's going to be lasting a good long time. And I love the paint color that they chose. Just that off gray, a little bit more to the blue spectrum. Very classy for uh, this street and this type of house. And it has a great craftsman feel and charm with little details framing around the garage door and the selection of the garage door, as well as the faux stone on the columns. Also, while we're out here, before I go inside, perfect opportunity to just point out, look how beautiful this street is. A lot of times with some of the new builds in the area, you, uh, you've torn down a house and you put up a new one and there's still a lot of older, dilapidated houses on the street. Not so. This one's had a lot of new construction on the street, which is gonna help hold this home's value going on into the future. It definitely helps with that. All right, let's check out the interior. Also wonderful when you're coming in, it's got the wood finish door with the wood finish soffits up above. Coming through, we pass by the garage. I'm going to come back to that in just a little bit. And next to that is the half bath in the house. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Here's your main floor half bathroom with some wonderful tile and uh, good finishes in it. And then we come into the living room. Here's a couple things I love about this living room. Great space. All the windows are south facing on this side and so during the day I've got the Venetian blinds closed up a bit but they can flood in the light if you want the light flooding into this room. Also gas fireplace that you just turn on and off with the flick of a switch. I turned that on just a couple seconds ago and boom it's up blazing and I can already feel the heat. <laughs> and then all stage right for your whole entertainment system. You've got your cable and phone hookups um, uh, or internet hookups and uh, outlets all there for your TV to be mounted on the wall. And it's a great open floor concept that flows right into the kitchen that not only has the kitchen but your uh, dining slash breakfast area also with a great big window and wonderful southern exposure natural light coming in. For the kitchen I love the choices that they've made with the colors. We've got the quartz countertop, which combines really nice with the white cabinets that are real nice sliding cabinets, quiet clothes, and pairs very nicely with the gray tile on the wall, which isn't just flat, it's a textured gray tile. Looks wonderful on the eyes as you're moving past it. And then great matching appliances, stainless steel, Frigidaire appliances. We've got the microwave, the gas range cooktops and the great hidden dishwasher flushed right in there. And space ready for the uh, fridge of your choosing. From the dining room, we kick out to the backyard through sliding door. All right, first thing I really love out here is this poured concrete patio with all of the stones in it. Unlike um, typical concrete where it's just gonna be that flat uh, matte light gray, this has the little stones in it which I think adds a little touch of classiness to it, a little bit higher quality. We've got beautiful uh, established grass in the back that's growing really well. It's been here a little while and matured so it's right in there. A perfect backyard if you've got a small dog. Fully fenced, feeling private and got this little bit of lawn. And as you can see in the middle of the afternoon, great sunlight on the patio, perfect for sunbathing. So you got privacy, light for sunbathing, room for the dog, excellent backyard. Don't forget your barbecue right there and hookups for it being AC ready. Let's jump back inside. Here's another thing I like about the layout of this house. I personally, you know, some of these are per my personal touches. I like the exposed stairs right here with the railing. As you're coming down, seeing the whole living room or the living room being able to see the stairs, I always think that looks great. Let's jump upstairs. And because of the square footage of the garage being on the main floor, there's actually more square footage upstairs here. First, let me show you uh, two of the bedrooms down this hallway. We've got bedroom one. couple things I like about this. Quality sliding doors on the bedroom closet and a decent depth to the closet, not too shallow. 
has great textured walls, wonderful windows, energy efficient windows, and because this tree is here, great privacy for this room while still being able to see a little bit out onto the street and the homes across the street. In between the two bedrooms, giving a little buffer of the sound, we've got our hookups for washer and dryer. Great space, so glad that they're on the upper floor. This is where all the laundry's happening and where all the clothes are. Why take all the clothes downstairs and then just have to bring them up again? And here's the second room, once again, feeling private. I can't see into any neighbor's windows from this, uh, from this room, but yet still getting some nice light and being able to see out above the other rooftops in the neighborhood. And then finally, the upstairs full bathroom. It has the same countertop and cabinets as down in the kitchen, which were these really nice quartz countertops, and then wonderful shower and bathtub. And now jumping down the hall, this is the real quality room, of course, the master bedroom. No walk-in closets in this one due to the space, but a wide stretch of closets right here when you come into the room and they, they really look wonderful. Come on over here and take a look at these. Just a good ergonomic use of space in those closets. Also, bathroom, master bathroom right here is the real luxury bathroom as it should be, being the master bath. It's got the dual sinks there with the quartz top, a nice large soaker tub with privacy window. This, this natural light is just wonderful in here. I love it. And then stand up shower uh, with some really nice tile choices. Got some good tile adornment on the wall and on the floor. And then tile floors in these bathrooms. All right, and then into the master bedroom, which is a room I really love in this house for a couple reasons. One, windows, nice large ones looking out over top of the street out front. We've got loads of space in this room. It is a large room. And then the ceilings always add that touch of class when you have this conference ceiling, this box ceiling with the large thick crown molding on it and a very stylish classy fan, ceiling fan. It feels great in here. All right, let's check out the garage downstairs. Couple things to show you there. And now for the garage, it's a simple one car garage, but it's worth pointing out that it's got some decent height to the ceiling, so you would have some room for storage up above if you wanted to. And then over here, we can see our high efficiency gas furnace with its AC hookups ready and a very large commercial grade uh, hot water tank, also gas. You are not running out of hot water in this house with that hot water tank. All right, let's finish up out front. Hey, so thanks for watching. This is my tour of 9020 North Oswego up in North Portland. It's an incredible new construction house under 500,000. Only $480,000, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. If you want to take a look at it, call or text me. I would love to show you this house. I'm Alex Roy, your trusted realtor in Portland, working hard for your success.